Hello everyone, today I want to talk about Quen 2.5 Coder. This series of large language models recently released an even larger parameter size of 32 billion parameters. Previously, we tested with 7B and 3B parameter sizes. There are also smaller sizes available like 0.5 billion parameters. The 32 billion parameter model claims to be better than GPT, 4.0 and tied with Claude 3.5 Sonnet for computing tasks such as coding, logical tasks, and other benchmarks. Some even showing better results than GPT-4. Is it really that good? Almost too good to be true? I've always been skeptical of these benchmark claims. When you actually apply language models or any AI models in development or production environments, they often perform differently. However, based on their testing information, such as human evaluation benchmarks, this model shows promise, especially for programming language tasks, which this new parameter size supports. We're not limited to testing just Python, though that's the current trend due to AI integrations and library availability. We can explore traditional programming languages like C or C Sharp, which are legendary languages I personally enjoy. To install this, you can first visit olama.com and search for Quen 2.5 Coder. Select the 32 billion parameter size from the drop-down menu, which will give you the command prompts to pull these model weights into your local Olama system. The second method involves going to Hugging Face's official Quen release page, where they have the Quen 2.5 Coder 32B instruct models available for local machines. However, I've heard reports that some lower-end GPUs or graphics cards struggle to load the 32 billion parameter size. This is a drawback for lower-end GPU users, but I can test it in both ways. I'll use Olama since it's easier. Just one command prompt to pull the model weights. Quen 2.5 Coder now collaborates with Open Web UI, a web UI system built for connecting Olama models to large language models. We can directly install the model weights in Open Web UI if we already have Olama installed in the backend. Open Web UI acts as a middle interface connector. You need to install both components to see this UI panel. You can go to settings in the admin panel, click on models, and pull them from olama.com. After copying the command prompt for pulling model weights in Open Web UI, we don't need the first two keywords just QN 2.5 Coder and 32B to download. On the right side, click the download icon to pull from the olama.com server. It takes a while since this is a 20 GB AI model. Once finished, we can test Quen 2.5 Coder's capabilities in Open Web UI where everything runs locally. After downloading, the model appears in the available model list. Return to the workspace in Open Web UI and select Quen 2.5 Coder 32B. You can then use text prompts to ask the AI model to generate programming code. For example, let's try a simple task like creating a calculator web app. Using this simple text prompt, we can see the model generating code using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It's creating styles for the web app with orange buttons for equals and highlighted buttons for plus, minus, and multiply. The logic handles errors when no numbers are input and correctly calculates operations like 1000 plus 2000 equals 3000. Open Web UI has similar features to Claude Sonnet with preview on the left side and middle columns showing chat history and AI responses. The JavaScript functions clearly display values and the AI provides explanations of the HTML structure, CSS styling, and JavaScript functions point by point. It includes step-by-step -step guides for reusing the code, explaining how to create an index.html file and attach JavaScript files in the proper directory structure. Let's try something more complex, creating a web app that integrates API calls for image generation, like we do with Comfy UI, Stable Diffusion, and Flux. Imagine we have an API endpoint. Let's use replica.com as an example. I'll pick one of their API endpoints to see if Quen 2.5 Coder can create an HTML client to call APIs and build a simple web app for image generation. Let's use Flux Pro 1.1 Pro and I'll provide the API documentation to the AI model in Web UI to test this capability. I haven't tested using documentation as a reference with Quen 2.5 Coder yet, but some AI coding agents can handle this task. Here's the API documentation link. 
I'll write a text prompt to create a simple AI image generator web app using the provided API endpoint. So I have pointed to the directions of the documentation, and let's see if this AI model is able to handle this and understand what I need and generate the code for me. Because usually I have done this in the bold new AI coder, that's another one that's able to take a very simple basic text prompt and generate a full stack web app from it, and let's see if this is able to work or not. So wait for some results here and let's go through them, but then we don't have the API keys at this moment. So just for demo purposes, we are just going through the logic behind the generated code here. So yep, we got the image generator right here. So a very basic image generator text prompt and you've got a generate image button. Next, we are going through the coding and see what is going on here. First, the HTML page is very simple. We got the text box and the button. So the prompt and then the generate button for loading. We got the div in here showing the generated image. So that is going to be after the button on click and it will pop up a panel and then the generated result will be appended into the div ID result panel here. We have also got the JS script which this AI model tends to use. A very simple HTML Java script for my generated result here because at the beginning of this chat history I have defined it using HTML and JavaScript only. So the next thing we are going to see is the CSS style. So the cascade style sheet is generated fully and in the format. Very good format for us. Although it's not a very complex cascade style sheet, but it still works. So I have no complaints about this. It's a good one, very clean. And then lastly, we are seeing the JavaScript JS files, which is able to understand the API key. And then the model versions, which equals to this AI model being able to access online if you provide the link and it is able to go through our documentation in this page where we have the API sections and let's see if that is correct. For here we have the Black Forest Lab Flux 1.1 Pro. This is the namespace of this model and in Node.js as well. When we go to Node.js, we are also able to see this namespace of these models. And coming back to the open web UI, as you can see, it is exactly the same model version. So that's correct and it's able to identify that this API model needs the API key. So this AI model Quinn 2.5 coder is able to access the web page and then also go through all these documents, learn how to set up and do some coding right about the API reference here, especially it got the input of the text prompt and return value of that. Going back to the JavaScript here, we see the API endpoint that is the correct one that we have by searching for the HTTP. That is going to be the easiest way to see. So the namespace for the appyreplica.com is correct. We got the endpoint passed to here and it's able to do authorizations for the tokens passed to the API key as well. So basically the whole thing in here enables it to follow the documentation that I provided and run the models and execute the model input prompts as well. And then right here we got the input, which is the prompt. So logically this is going to work, but I'm not sure if that is able to run in JavaScript or not. But yeah, I assume that is going to be workable with the same logic that is happening in the AI documentation of Replicate.com calling the Flux 1.1 Pro API endpoint. So yes, this AI coder, Quinn 2.5 coder, especially in this 32 billion size, is able to do coding. And I tend to like this kind of coding that generates a snippet of code, not the whole program. And I am able to use the existing code that the AI generates and put that into my own coding project so that I'm able to have fun you know, from the programming point of view, I'm able to customize my project, my coding as well with AI's assistance for generating each feature or function in each coding. I guess people with programming experience will agree with that. We enjoy how we do programming, so we want to put some involvement as well. Even though we know that the AI can handle the whole program, we want to understand what each line of code is passing, what that data is, and be able to debug if we have to do it manually, or some days when we don't have the AIs with us, we also have the skill set to do that by ourselves. So, yep, that is it for this video. Very basic, simple, and Quinn 2.5 Coder 32B is able to do some programming locally. I cannot say it's going to allow you to write a full system or large program by automation by itself, just with a text prompt.
that kind of phrase is overhyped or something? Yeah, to be honest, this is good for creating a snippet of code enabling you to put that into whatever coding project or programming project that you have. So that is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.